Beginning in the 2030s, the United States Navy's FA-18EF Super Hornet will be replaced by the sixth generation FA-XX Air Superiority Fighter that is now in the process of being developed and acquired under the FA-XX Development and Acquisition Program. It is expected that the FA-XX will serve as the fighter component and primary focus of the next generation air dominance family of systems operated by the Navy. Thus, keep watching this video to understand more about the insane new stealth fighter that the United States is developing for the sixth generation. The United States Navy published an official call for information on the FAXX in April 2012. It calls for an air superiority fighter with multi-role capabilities to initially complement and eventually replace aircraft such as the FA-18EF Super Hornet and the EA-18G Growler in the 2030s. Additionally, it calls for an air superiority fighter that can operate in anti-access and area denial environments to complement the F-35C Lightning II and the U-Class unmanned aircraft. The specifications for the platform include supercruise capabilities in addition to superior next-generation stealth technologies, sensors, and radars with adaptable networking. Other tasks and capabilities include electronic warfare and countermeasures, reconnaissance, surveillance, target acquisition, and air-to-air -air refueling. The new system will have the capability to perform manned, unmanned, and optionally manned operations for a highly adaptable platform. In light of the fact that FA-18 Super Hornets will have reached the end of their 9,000-hour service life by the early 2030s, the development of the FA-XX has been prioritized. In addition to the possibility of purchasing more F-35Cs, the FAXX is working on developing a new aircraft in order to replace the capabilities and mission set of the Super Hornet. In the same way that the F-35C has replaced old FA-18 Hornets and acts as a complement to the Super Hornet. Since the project is still in its very early phases of development, the Navy is hesitant to speak about the new aircraft, despite the fact that the FAXX platform will be a sixth generation fighter aircraft. It is possible to investigate a variety of next-generation technologies, such as those with the highest possible sensor connections and smart skins that are electrically configurable. Thus, the term maximum connection refers to vastly improved communications and sensor technology. And this can include the capacity to communicate with satellites, other aircraft, or anything else that might provide real-time intelligence on the battlefield. In addition, smart skins would have sensors and electronics built into the fuselage of the airplane itself to improve sensor performance while simultaneously lowering drag, hence enhancing the aircraft's top speed as well as its agility. It is desirable to have a design that has an open architecture, since this will allow for various sensors, payloads, and weaponry to be plugged in for a particular mission, as well as the ability to shift them around for many different missions on different days or during successive sorties. Therefore, the design that was produced as a consequence is expected to take shape dependent on the form that the aviation industry presents for its next generation of propulsion systems. There is a significant amount of disagreement regarding the Air Force's claims that adaptive cycle jet engine technology, in which the ratios of bypass and compression airflow can be made variable to improve efficiency, can be scaled to benefit a carrier-based fighter. However, the Air Force and the Navy are collaborating on the development of a next-generation tactical fighter with the ability to engage in a supercruise. Chief of Naval Operations Jonathan Greenert made a hypothesis in February 2015 that the FAXX would not rely primarily on stealth or speed to the same extent as previous generations of jet fighters due to improvements in signature detection technology and the proliferation of high-speed anti-aircraft weapons. Instead, the fighter is to carry a broad variety of new range of modern armaments to overwhelm or suppress enemy air defenses and assure survival and supremacy. These defensive characteristics are given by the fighter's stealth features, technology, mobility, and speed. According to the concept of the Naval Integrated Fire Control Counter Air Battle Network developed by the Navy, an individual aircraft would not need to have a full suite of sensors and instead rely on offboard data linked information from other aircraft to provide targeting information and guide weapons launched from the aircraft. This approach could result in a minimum cost FAXX that uses high cost, high performance weapons to defeat threats. The FAXX aircraft will be able to carry missiles, will have power and cooling systems for directed energy weapons, and will have sensors that can target small radar cross section targets. 
Additionally, the possibility of including cyber warfare platforms at a tactical level as part of a family of systems is currently being investigated. The overall cargo capacity, range, and diversity of armament and equipment that the FAXX has will at the very least meet or perhaps surpass the payload capacity and capabilities of the aircraft that is in use right now, which is the Super Hornet. Secretary of the Navy Ray Mabus said in May 2015 that the FAXX should be aircraft with the capacity for optional unmanned autonomous operation. In addition, the project may result in a family of systems rather than a single airframe to replace the capabilities of the FA-18EF and EA-18G, and the Navy is now undertaking an investigation of possibilities for their next generation aircraft in conjunction with the Air Force. Also, Greenard is in favor of a modular part that may either carry additional sensors or a pilot. Thus, this component of the aircraft is known as an optionally manned aircraft. In July 2009, Boeing made its first public presentation of a sixth-generation fighter design in response to the FAXX program requirement, formally exposing the development of their project. Therefore, the graphics and designs that were presented for it depicted a stealthy, two-seat, twin-engine tailless aircraft with a blended wing fuselage. Boeing acknowledged that despite having a tandem cockpit, it is designed to either be manned or unmanned depending on the requirements of the mission. The weight class that the fighter idea competes in is 40,000 pounds. In addition, it has been suggested that the Northrop Grumman X-47B, which was selected for the UCASD program, should be also considered for the FAXX initiative. In April 2013, Boeing presented a revised concept for the FAXX sixth generation fighter aircraft. A tailless, twin-engine stealth aircraft that can operate in either manned or unmanned forms is envisioned by the idea. However, it lacks a tail, which indicates a focus on stealth from all directions, despite the fact that it features canards, which typically increase the frontal radar cross-section of an aircraft. In addition to that, it incorporates diverterless supersonic inlets, much as the F-35 does. So, it would seem that the manned version has limited sight while looking backward without the assistance of a sensor. On September 9, 2014, the Navy made the announcement that the year 2015 will mark the beginning of an analysis of alternatives for the FAXX fighter. Therefore, at the meetings that would be conducted with the industry, the primary emphasis would be on the construction of new aircraft to fulfill the demand, the development of an approach known as a family of systems, and the discussion of mission systems, avionics, and new next-generation armament systems. However, after the conclusion of the FAXX analysis of alternatives in June 2019, the Navy moved on to the phase of the development process known as concept development, where concerns were voiced concerning the program's financing, and Brian Clark of the Hudson Institute made the prediction that the program will eventually become a modified version of the F-35 or the F-A-18 Super Hornet. And that's it. Tell us in the comments how enthusiastic you are for the upcoming stealth fighter aircraft of the sixth generation. Thanks for watching this video. Click the subscribe button and see you in the next video.